Good evening. Welcome to You Are What You Oil. Jumping on here from my garage, the Essential Oil Garage, I'm going to be talking about a lot of fun things that we can do to survive summer. The class is entitled Surviving Summer. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well wherever you are. Uh, I hope you are enjoying summer. I hope you are staying safe and healthy. And I've got a bunch of fun uh, tips and tricks and some recipes that I'll be sharing with you tonight. So uh, first off, let me introduce myself. I am Dina, Dina Fisher. I am coming at you here from the heat of Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. Uh, I'm not sure where you are, but I can't see comments right now. So if anyone's on, um, drop me a line. Let me know where you are watching from. Um, if you are on the replay later on, then still let me know where you're watching from. And I will be uh, answering any questions after the class. Uh, in addition, after the class, I will be leaving a lot of information in the, um, the description as well as in the comments. So a ton of different recipes, links, and all kinds of different fun stuff, okay? So tonight we are talking about surviving summer. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being here. I cannot wait to show you a bunch of my favorite Young Living oils and products that will seriously save you this season. Uh, we are deep into summer at this point. Um, but I know that there's still a lot of things that we can all learn from each other. So, hey, that's why I'm here. So we're going to talk a little bit about surviving the great outdoors, um, some amazing skin-loving products, and some tasty snacks, and even some little DIY recipes. So um, while we dive into all of that, I know a lot of you are loving cookouts and we will be talking about some oil infused recipes um, that you will be sure to love. I sure love cooking with my oils. Um, I will also talk about some tips and tricks for surviving summer with the kids and some fun activities and, and things that you can make um, to help keep them entertained with their oils. So first off, why choose Young Living? Uh, I chose Young Living almost by mistake Thank you, Amanda. I see you're on here. Thank you. Um, I Well, it was not a mistake. It was the best choice of my life, but I didn't know the difference between oils when I started. All I wanted was some peppermint and maybe some lavender to help me with headaches because I'd heard that that helped. And I started with a starter kit just about three and a half years ago, and uh, I really had no idea what I was doing at the beginning. None. Almost zero. Um, but I truly, truly, truly... Uh, I'm grateful for the educational groups. I learned so, so much and all of a sudden I started diving in and learning and once I could feel that these really, really do work and how they made such a huge difference for myself and my family, I couldn't help but dive in. And so um, I'm a bit of a science geek that way. I love seeing the science behind the why. I started really um, learning as much as I possibly could and before you knew it, I couldn't help but share. So. That's why I'm here, because I know how incredible these are, and uh, if you're not using them, you should be. And if you are, then tell me some of your, your, your tricks and uh, tips. Share them in the, um, in the comments with everyone. But um, I know if you are already using these, you know that they are life-changing, and if you are not, I know that sounds weird, but stick with me, because there's a lot of different ways that you can use them. Um, so there are dozens and dozens of brands out there, of course, but uh, when it comes to health and wellness products, what makes Young Living different from the rest? It's a, it's a big question, but it's a very simple answer. It's called Seed to Seal. It is the promise and the guarantee that Young Living offers um, that gives me complete and total peace of mind, and I know that I can trust every single product that I order from them, and that is not something that I can say about any other company that I've ever come to know. So you absolutely can expect that Young Living is going to provide you only with the best. So why? Why is it the best? Um, they have plant material that is grown on corporately owned or um, very carefully vetted partner farms that you can visit. Uh, I've talked about this in some of my other classes, but uh, last summer had the absolute joy and privilege 
um, to visit one of the farms in in the in Utah with my youngest daughter and it's heaven it's like a slice of heaven and when you see it and you feel it and you can be a part of it and you meet the farmers and you understand the passion that they have for everything literally from seed to seal um, it's absolutely completely reassuring to me because I know that um, those are the guys that I want making my oils, and I'm very, we're, I'm very grateful that uh, Young Living has such an incredibly passionate team around the world because they have farms everywhere around the world. It's amazing. So I, we can learn all about uh, that. You can just go to seedtoseal.com and check it out. So why else? Uh, sustainable farming practices, sourcing and, and, and farming practices, which really provides the purest oil and the best products. They take great care to preserve and protect natural resources, which to me is really important. Um, they also hand weed their fields and they have zero pesticides ever, 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 ever. So that's reassuring to me. Um, oils retain their natural constituents and therapeutic properties. So the difference between Young Living and so many other companies is that our oils are therapeutic grade, meaning that they are so pure, you can use them in a host of different ways, um, from in inhaling them to topically to internally. And we're gonna talk about a bunch of those different ways today, but um, some of the recipes are definitely taking them. They're delicious. Uh, okay, so oils retain their constituents and therapeutic properties, low pressure and low temperature distillation without the use of sol solvents or synthetic chemicals. So they don't use harsh, harsh chemicals to extract more from the plant. They just use the best techniques um, that everybody else tries to copy, but Young Living has perfected. So rigorous te testing on every single batch by internal and third-party external labs and the oils are carefully reviewed through every single step of production in order to meet or exceed industry standards of safety and purity so um, one I've had somebody ask me before if they are organic and what I have heard and love the fact is they are beyond organic because um, organic fields, if you look at the, at the restrictions and, and requirements, they need to be, I think, five or seven years without using pesticides on, um, on the land. And Young Living either uses virgin land or uh, has the very strict policy of <clears throat> 50 years uh, into the past, guaranteed that there's no pesticides on that land. So, um, and, ooh, I love this one. The best part is if the oils do not meet the standards for whatever reason, so for something that has to do with um, the climate or something like that, they are rejected and they will not be bottled as oils that would ever come to you. However, I have heard that they actually use those same oils that wouldn't be bottled and, uh, and sold. They use them on the, the fields themselves. So awesome. I love that. Okay, moving on, let's talk about, uh, we'll dive into it, with summer skin. So, it's swimsuit season, and we all know what that means. Um, you are, we are all beautiful, just the way that we are, no matter our shape or size, but uh, there's a number of things we can do to help make ourselves feel our best, right? So, you can prepare your legs and underarms using this little baby, which is First of all, smells amazing, feels incredible on your skin. It's called the Mira Shave Oil. Sorry, this is gonna be backwards, but you guys will understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> it's a luxurious, it's super, super, it's, well, let me open up. Oh, I can't open this one. I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand. It smells so great. It is such, it's so much better than the toxic shave creams and stuff like that. So. It's made with um, a rich blend of essential oils and emollients and botanical ingredients. Exotic baobab, meadow foam, and avocado oils work together with Young Living's exclusive Mira essential oil blend to reduce razor drag bumps and nicks. So you can use it to shave um, 
or use after you've shaved. I often will use this. I even use this in my hair. I love this stuff. Um, I use this actually as a, as a shave, shave oil as well as um, a little bit of moisturizer every once in a while and I actually use it in my hair. I love it. It's awesome. So I love products that will um, do multiple things. So um, next up you're going to want to grab some Cell Light Magic. This particular oil uh, is phenomenal for helping with, um, let's say, evening out those unsightly bumps that you don't want on the back of your thighs. <laughs> Uh, it helps nourish the skin and it has pure vegetable oils, vitamin E, and the best essential oils on the planet, of course. Uh, grapefruit oil helps improve the look of skin and texture and juniper helps cleanse. So here's another way that you can really, really kick it up a notch, which is what I really, really love to do. You can take an entire bottle of, where did I put them, grapefruit and cypress oils, so toronja and cypress, grapefruit and cypress, and you can add it in to your cell light, or you could add it in, if you can't get the cell light where you are, you can add it into a bottle of the V6 oil, and really, really, really take up your um, skincare, uh, summer thigh skincare game, quite a few notches. So um, you will need to, well, so what happens is um, grapefruit uh, will help with, well, sorry, let me get, go back. I took some notes and now I'm confusing myself. <laughs> you can combine the, uh, with massage and uh, improve circulation by flushing out the lactic acid in the muscles resulted in improved body function. You can massa the massage will f facilitate the flow of lymphatic fluid which carries with it metabolic, um, metabolic waste and muscles from the internal organs, so that's a win-win. Um, grapefruit is a citrus oil and it can cause your skin to be a little bit more sensitive to the sun. So you do not put it on your skin and then go out into the sun. Um, those with a base tan may choose to use this little trick to accelerate those rays, but be very, very careful if you burn easily like I do. Um, so there you go. Uh, last but not least, let's talk about some cream, which I actually don't have on hand right now. Um, I know my mom loves this one. It's the Coconut Lime Replenishing Body Butter. It's fragranced with the natural scent of coconut oil and lime essential oil, and it creates a warm tropical aroma when you use it. Um, it contains fatty acids that help maintain skin with a youthful appearance. That's always a good thing. Of course, uh, products are made without parabens, without petrochemicals, colorants, animal-derived animal ingredients ever. This, it's a vegan body butter that is filled with skin-loving ingredients. And um, remember that it does contain some lime essential oil, which is sun-sensitive. So be, be mindful of that when you apply it to your skin. So let's talk about summer sunshine. Um, I know I'm always on my kids about being careful with the sun, especially here in Mexico. It's extremely strong, but uh, that, goes, that, that goes without saying almost anywhere now, right? So um, there's so much to do outside. Hopefully you are all getting outside and being able to enjoy fresh air uh, in the garden, at the pool, at the beach, uh, hiking or enjoying walking through your neighborhood. So exposure to sunlight, of course, is good for the soul. Uh, and your health, uh, but your, when your skin, of course, is uh, exposed to sunlight, you need to, um, well, it makes vitamin D from cholesterol. The vitamin plays um, an important role in our immune system, so that's super head, hugely beneficial. However, overexposure to sun can lead to burned skin, which I can be outside in like seconds, I think. I went out to hang up some laundry and seriously, I was burnt and I didn't even think about putting on sunscreen, but I really should know better. In the morning, I get up. My daughter's very good about it. She puts on sunscreen every day um, and I should really learn from her more often. I usually put it on when I go out, you know, on purpose, but anyway. 
we can protect ourselves and we want to protect ourselves from burn skin, wrinkles, eye injuries, and even skin cancer. So um, we need to protect ourselves and the very best and the only sunscreen that I will ever ever use again uh, is the Young Living Mineral Sunscreen. So it comes in 50 p uh, SPF. I don't know if you can see that. It's not focusing very well. Um, so it comes in 50 and uh, I think for a limited time, if there's still any, um, they were phasing it out, there was a, a 10 SPF too. But I mean, protect yourself. The better, the more, the more, the better in my opinion. Um, and this 50 is awesome for me. It works really, really well. It's a natural broad spectrum sunscreen. It's chemical free. Uh, well, toxic chemical, like all the stuff you buy at the grocery store is careful, careful, careful. If you can read those labels and you do a little bit of um, investigation, turn over the label on your commercial sunscreen from the grocery store or the, you know, the corner store or whatever and, you know, do a dangers of and then type in one of the, one of the ingredients and be very, very careful. You might, might be surprised that um, some of the things you're putting on your skin are actually potentially causing you more harm. So that will never happen with this baby. So um, it's a super awesome alternative for adults and kids. It's dermatologist reviewed and formulated to smooth on skin without leaving a white residue. I find it really thick. I actually like, uh, there's a hack for this where you can combine it with the Lavaderm After Sun Spray, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but I like to, uh, dilute it a little bit so that I can spread it on my skin a little bit easier and uh, it's you can use it outdoors worry free for up to 80 minutes of water and sweat resistant um, action it's reef safe this is what I love about this I mean we live here in Cabo well no matter where you are but here we need to be you know very careful about um, the gorgeous uh, under you know uh, um, underwater life so reef safe it's made with non nano zinc oxide and it's literally the best I've ever used I will never ever want to be without this product so that is the mineral sunscreen you're gonna want to get this okay the next one on the list I actually don't have on hand either right now but that does not mean I can't talk about it because I know how amazing it is um, if you happen to forget your sunscreen um, and your gorgeous skin gets a little bit sunburned, then you're definitely going to want the Lavaderm After Sun Spray. It helps refresh and recover and it's made with naturally, af um, it's a naturally derived after sun spray that offers temporary relief from pain and itching of minor burns, minor cuts sunburn scrapes, insect bites, and skin irritation. So you can keep use it for a multiple of different reasons. It's dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic, soothes and cools and provides immediate relief on skin, moisturizes to help peeling and promotes healthy looking skin. It's made with plant-based, naturally derived ingredients and formulated without alcohol, parabens, phthalates, petrochemicals, animal derived ingredients, synthetic preservatives, fragrances, or colorants. So you can be sure that when you're putting it on your skin, it's a safe product. So um, because I don't have that one on hand and because I don't wanna leave you empty handed with an after sun um, alternative, we are gonna whip up a really fun and really quick DIY after sun spray, okay? So <clears throat> in a four ounce bottle, I am going to Put, well, I pre-measured this. Um, I have a half a cup. I will leave these recipes, by the way. Um, all the recipes that I'm talking about today, I will leave in the description of uh, this class afterwards. So this is a half a cup of witch hazel. Just for you that don't aren't familiar with it. It's a natural astringent. This is the one that I happen to have. It's unscented, alcohol-free toner, witch hazel. Um, you can usually, you can probably get it online. I even got this locally here in Cabo. Uh, I love this stuff. It's awesome. Um, so you will put the half a cup into your bottle. Just gonna pour it in there. 
So that almost fills up the whole bottle. I don't know if you can see that level right now. Yeah, there you can see that. Now, um, it says to put the, so there's half a cup of witch hazel. There is two tablespoons of pure aloe gel. I have some aloe gel here. I suppose you could go out to your garden and just, you know, make some aloe gel, although I don't know how you, I've never actually done that myself. So I'm not going to actually measure this. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it one, two. And then we're going to add in to this baby. I'm just going to put this down right here. You can still see it. We're going to add in lavender and peppermint. So lavanda in Spanish. You can't even see that. Lavender and pen peppermint, menta. So we're going to do 10 drops each. Here we go. This is how easy it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. How easy is this? How fun is this? Little DIY after sun spray. So that was lavender, and now we're gonna do peppermint. Ten drops as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom! That fast. Didn't have to go to the store. Don't need to worry about all the toxic stuff that is. Um, I remember that when, after I used to get, I mean, I've got very sensitive skin. So when I would uh, get a sunburn, I used to go and buy that neon blue icy stuff. So I shake it up there, give it a nice little shake. Every single time you're gonna use it, give it a good shake. And then just spray it on. <sighs> Smells amazing, first of all. And lavender will help soothe and heal your skin and the peppermint will help make it feel really nice and cool. So you could use this anytime. I mean this doesn't have to be only after sun. You could use this just to freshen up. So ta-da! Really easy. Oh I got some on my hands. It feels so nice and fresh. Ah, okay so DIY after sun spray. Done! How fast was that? That was awesome. Okay. All the ingredients, just make sure you've got to um, give it a shake every single time. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about maintaining our sanity outside, outdoors. So nothing is more annoying and than pesky uh, mosquitoes and little biting bugs. Uh, that You know the little ones that buzz around your ears and nibble on your skin and leave bumps and itchiness. So no one has time for that stuff. Nobody ever wants to be bothered by that stuff. So you can grab another product that I don't have on hand. Uh, we don't currently have it in Mexico, but don't worry. I will be doing a DIY for you coming up. So you can get their insect repellent. Now this is a product that I have heard a thousand times excellent reviews over and everyone says that it's a total must-have. Uh, I'm actually going to be placing an order in the U.S. probably in the next week or so um, and bringing some stuff down. So if anybody is here locally in Cabo and needs anything, let me know, piggyback my order, and I will um, be bringing a bunch of stuff down. So let me know if you want anything. But the insect repellent from Young Living has pure sesame oil and a carefully selected blend of essential oils traditionally used for bug repellent properties. And they come together to make up 99% of the active ingredients in the formula. The other 1% is vitamin E. That means you can use it on your entire family and not worry about synthetic chemicals and nasty, 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 harsh, toxic stuff that comes in so many of the store-bought traditional repellents. So it smells citrusy and it goes on smooth and non-greasy and it's not sticky. So I cannot wait to get my hands on some. Um, if you are using it, like I said, I can't see the comments right now, but if you do have it and you use it, let us know how much you love it. And otherwise, um, let me know if you want any, if you're here locally in Cabo and uh, we, can, we can throw some on my order. Okay, so the Young Living Insect Repellent is hypoallergenic. It's a gentle formula. It's vegan friendly. Uh, it's tested to repel mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas and prevent bug bites, which is great. It's made with 100% naturally derived plant-based ingredients and it's formulated, and this is what I love, it's formulated without DEET. It doesn't have parabens or fillers or phthalates or petrochemicals 
animal-derived ingredients, synthetic preservatives, synthetic fragrances, or synthetic colors. None of that garbage, okay? It also comes in convenient wipes, um, which I think is a really awesome, you know, option. Um, it's the same benefits as the formula, as the liquid version. It, it offers continued protection when reapplied after two hours. And they come in individually wrapped so you can have them on the go, which is really, really handy, right? If you're out for a hike or something like that. Um, the white material is 100% compostable, biodegradable, and sustainable. So that's great. So if you're applying this to animals, avoid contact with eyes, nose, mouth, and open wounds. Due to state res regulations, um, this product is not available for purchase in all states. So, um, actually come to think of that, if I'm making my order in California, I'm not sure if... <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna be able to bring it down, but I will let you know. So, um, if you wanna whip out your own outdoor spray because you can't get it in your state or you're here, um, you can use this recipe for a DIY outdoor spray. And look how fun this is. Okay, so another four ounce bottle. We're gonna do two ounces of witch hazel. Okay, so once again, I bore well, I pre-measured it. Two ounces. Um, is the equivalent of a quarter cup. Yeah, that's a quarter cup. So a quarter cup of witch hazel, I'm just gonna dump it in there. Then it says also two ounces of water, which I did not pre-measure, so I'm just gonna do that really, really, really quick. Also in there, so that's witch hazel and water going on in. Okay, then we're gonna drop in, here is the formula. It is 20 drops of thieves, so once again, I'm gonna place this here so you can see it. 20 drops of thieves, 20 drops of lemon, 20 drops of rosemary, Romero, and 20 drops of citronella. Woohoo! Let's do it. So this is going to take a little time because it's 20 drops of each, so, you know, I'm going to check out my counting skills. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Of course, I'm getting to the bottom of the bottle. And for argument's sake, let's say that was 20. <laughs> Okay, 20 drops of lemon, so that was 20 drops of thieves. Now 20 drops of lemon. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're gonna add in 20 drops of rosemary, romero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we're almost there. Last one. Citronella. Mmm, it's starting to smell really good over here, you guys. Citronella is going in there. Also 20 drops. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We did it. Yay. Okay. So we have thieves, lemon, rosemary, and citronella. I don't know if you can see the separation in there. I can see it on the top. Um, then so what you're going to need to do is shake it every time you want to use it. Okay, and I'm not gonna mix up my bottles. So normally I would make up a cute little label. So this is your outdoor spray. Now, in a pinch, um, so some of those, the Thieves, the Lemon, um, comes in uh, the starter kit, of course. Uh, also in the starter kit in Mexico still and in Canada is purification. Now purification alone, uh, you could switch out if you don't have the citronella. You, uh, purification has citronella in it, so you could add that in there instead. Um, so this, get that going. First of all, it smells amazing. 
It's super good for your skin and it's going to totally help you with the pests. Okay. Fun summer DIYs. So that was the um, DIY outdoor spray. I've got actually a few different recipes and I will leave some um, graphics in the comments following the class, okay? So we're also gonna talk about summer summertime snacks. Um, these are particular things which I uh, can tell you that every single one of the products I'm talking about now is not available immediately in the um, Mexican market. Some of them might be available in the Canadian market, but they are definitely available in the US. And just because they're so awesome, I need to talk about them. So, first one, uh, you need to have summer snacks on hand, of course, you need to have, uh, and Young Living is so, so, so much more than just oils. Uh, they have incredibly tasty snacks. They're perfect to throw in beach bags, pool bags, purses, backpacks, road trips, anywhere you're going. So you can um, pick from a few of these. And the first one I'm going to talk about is a drink called Ninja Zing. It's a great sub for sugar-filled sodas and energy drinks. Zing uses the same whole fruit uh, wolfberry puree that's found in Young Living's popular superfruit supplement Ninja Red. Um, then it, uh, they add sparkling water, pear and blackberry juices, plus a hint of lime and black pepper essential oils for a super unique taste. It's super delicious. I can't wait for it to come to Mexico, but if you can get your hands on some, I suggest that you do because it's super, super yummy. Um, it has natural flavors and natural sweeteners like white tea extract, added vitamins, Ninja. Uh, it offers, Ninja Zing offers 35 milligrams of naturally occurring caffeine and only 35 calories per can. So it makes it a totally sweet, guilt-free boost uh, for your summer days. So you can throw those into your cooler and your backpack, uh, and they come in a case of 12. So next up is the dried organic wolfberries, which um, I cannot wait to get some because I have a recipe in mind that I can't wait to use them for. They are sweet organic wolfberries, um, which are otherwise known as goji berries. They're perfect to munch on while you, uh, at the beach, at the pool, or you know, even just around the house. They have polyphenols and polysaccharides. It's a super fruit touted around the world for taste and nutrition, nutri nutrients. Um, so you can eat them by the handful, you can toss them in yogurt, salads, smoothies, muffins, pancakes, granola, or however you like, and it is in a 16 ounce bag. Um, <clears throat> next one up is the Protein Power Bites. Uh, they come in a box of 18, they're great for snacking and a healthy lifestyle. They have 6 grams of protein and lots of good for you ingredients like pea, almond, egg white, and grass fed whey. Um, they have, uh, they provide an optimal balance between long-term and quick uh, protein absorption. So it's a dual stage protein absorption, provides your body with the right amount of protein at the absorption rate it needs to enhance recovery and help fight muscle fatigue and fend off cravings, which is always great. Um, so they have uh, quick digesting grass-fed whey uh, which is rich in BCAAs to promote muscle growth and recovery. They contain plant and egg white proteins, um, each with a unique profile of essential amino acids and long-lasting digestibility that can help, with feel, help to keep you feel full. They have lemon vitality essential oil uh, as well as whole blueberries. And they have no artificial colors, preservatives, and none of that gunk, okay? Um, then another one that I uh, can't wait to get my hands on is the uh, Gary's True Grit Einkorn Granola. So um, I love granola as a quick snack and on the go, um, you know, fill me up as I'm running out the door kind of thing. Um, but most granolas are filled with refined sugars, high fruct fructose corn syrup, artificial colors and artificial flavors. And instead of including um, overly processed ingredients, Young, Le Young Living is using 
wolfberries, cranberries, um, cacao nibs, and coconut sugar to jazz up this uh, amazing ancient grain granola. I can't wait to try it. It sounds so delicious. So there's a mix of grains, nuts, berries, and seeds that provides uh, simple and complex carbohydrates to keep you going. And you can have it hot or cold, whatever works for you. So that was a little bit about snacking. And now we're going to talk about cookouts and drinks through the summer. So um, there's some great snacks, but we're going to talk about some recipes starting with drinks. So uh, I am not equipped to do all the demos tonight. That would just be, I, first of all, you'd be here all night while I'm whipping up all these recipes and I don't want to keep you that long. So what I'm going to do is in the description of this um, class, I'm going to leave you a bunch of different recipes. Like I said, everything I'm talking about today, I'm going to either leave in the description or in the comments, okay? So you will not be left hanging. But one of the things that, uh, well, I probably could have whipped it up here. And if my mom were here to help, you know, I would have asked her to help me. Uh, one that is a nice fun recipe called Poolside Punch. It's uh, six ounces of uh, Ninja Red which is a nice healthy quantity of that, of our delicious Ninja. Um, four ounces of sparkling water, a shot of vodka if you want, uh, and one to two drops of orange vitality, our friend orange. So you can combine those ingredients over ice. Uh, you can omit the vodka if you prefer a non-alcoholic version. And here's what I love is some of these fun facts from these recipes. So did you know that Orange Vitality can provide an internal boost with its antioxidants and can also help to cleanse the digestive system? I don't, I've been some super drawn to orange lately. I am putting it in almost everything. My smoothies, I'm even loving it in my daily coffee. I've been putting thieves and orange in my morning coffee. Love it, I absolutely love it. So, okay, another really fun one uh, is the watermelon, wa -la -la -la, watermelon spritzer recipe, which you would use three cups of chilled watermelon, a cup of coconut water, and one drop of lime vitality. So you can put all of those ingredients into the blender until pureed well, and then pour it into a glass and enjoy. Or, here's a really, really quick, if you don't have watermelon, like I didn't have any watermelon on hand today and I didn't have time to run to the store, but I have become obsessed. This is like, when I'm out and about doing stuff, look at that, by the, I have a little cooler beside me and I pulled out a nice little chilled glass with some ice in it. So this is my new favorite go-to. I think I shared it um, last week or so, but I come out home and I'm doing errands or whatever and I come home and I'm just like so so hot and so so thirsty even though I have water with me and I discovered this so I take my lime lime essential oil and I put a drop or two into my glass and then you can and then I take some organic coconut water um, and then I even mixed it up the other day and I threw in about an ounce of Ninja into the glass. So I'm going to show you guys the Ninja version. You could just add the coconut uh, water over top of the, the drop of lime on ice. Or you can put in a little bit of Ninja. And then pour your coconut water over top. So easy. You could add, add alcohol to it if you want. It is like the most refreshing. You can even add in some um, soda water if you want. My daughter did that. Cheers. You guys, this is so good. Delicious coconut water with a little bit of lime it, and a little bit of ninja. I mean, how healthy is that? Mmm. I love it. So, so easy to have healthy um delicious options right okay so here's another fun fact did you know that lime vitality is 100 percent bioflavonoid that means it not only supports the immune system it stimulates the detox pathways and helps the absorption of vitamin c 
I don't know. Like I have been crazy um, craving this and putting it in everything I possibly can. And now I know why. My body needs it. All of our body needs it. Okay, so delicious. Moving on. Another drink that you can make, this one definitely has alcohol, is a shot of coconut rum. Uh, this one's called Tropical Paradise. So a shot of, trop of coconut rum, a shot of vodka, double that up, baby, uh, two shots of pineapple juice, and then a drop of tangerine. Now, okay, so I should be explaining that this should be tangerine vitality. The difference between a vitality oil, which I don't even have on hand right now, uh, and the regular oil is literally that the, if this were um, tangerine vitality, it would have a white label. The only difference between vitality and the regular oil is the color of the label. It's labeled that way to show that it can be, it's safe for internal use. I'm here in Mexico. Our starter kit doesn't even have the vitality ones because it's all about making the FDA happy. Here, I just, it's exactly the same oil, whether it has a white label or, so I get these ones. So I'm showing you these. So I'm not trying to do any faux pas tonight, not show you the vitality versions, but no need because it's always exactly the same oil. So did you know that uh, tangerine vitality is high in limonene, which is a great booster for the immune system? It's one of the ones that my youngest daughter is uh, obsessed with, with, along with grapefruit these days. So um, it also supports the digestive and circulatory systems, which is very interesting. Okay, so now that we've got a few drink recipes under our belts, let's talk about some appetizers because, you know, who doesn't love great appies? So if you were here with me in my essential oil garage, uh, which is literally my garage, which I've turned into this space, I would be very happily um, sharing appetizers and drinks and uh, afterwards desserts with you, everything infused with essential oils, of course. But um, since we can't do that, I will share some recipes with you so you can ha share them with your guests or family um, at your next cookout or, you know, next craving. So, um, so this, as I said, doesn't turn into a full-blown cooking show uh, and I don't have you here all night. I'm going to leave these recipes once again in the description of the uh, class. And, uh, but let's talk about the ingredients a bit because that's... Uh, the first one is a favorite for kids. Um, we use cinnamon bark vitality and you could also switch it out for other things that you know you like the flavor of better. Orange or lemon vitality, um, those would be the ones that I would try first. So the recipe I'm going to talk about first is a berry honey um, yogurt dip. It, you use two cups of plain or vanilla Greek yogurt a half a cup of honey or decrease to a quarter cup if you're using uh, va the vanilla yogurt and then a drop of cinnamon bark vitality oil in there or orange or lemon or however and then you're going to mix that all up in a bowl refrigerate it um, and then you can serve it with fresh fruit as a dip it stores in the refrigerator for up for days uh, and you can have a you know super healthy snack for your kids so that they can be um, a really fun dip for their fruit kids of any age, really. I mean, I'd be all over that. So, did you know that cinnamon bark vitality can help support healthy digestive and immune system? It's also one of the oils, of course, in our super well-known thieves, which I do not go a single day without using these days. So, the next one uh, recipe I'm going to talk about is a hit with adults, but some kids might enjoy it as well. You can um, go to your garden and grab the ingredients if you are fortunate enough to have your own personal garden, um, or go to the local farmer's market, whatever. Um, it would be, it's the recipe for a caprese salad with lemon basil vinaigrette. So for that, I won't give you all the, the, the quantities, and, but I will leave the recipe afterwards. You're going to want cherry tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, basil leaves, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, garlic cloves, olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, and of course, basil. Oh, I do have a vitality oil. Basil vitality. See the white label? So if I had the um, colored label uh, compared to this, this white label, exactly the same oil, always, just a different label. So 
the basil and lemon. You're gonna want basil and lemon to make up your vinaigrette in that caprese salad with lemon basil vinaigrette. I will leave you the recipe afterwards. Um, but the fun fact is, did you know that basal vitality can help support the nervous system and the digestive system? So lemon vitality is uh, an immune system powerhouse and it helps you to flush out uh, the toxins from your body. So how fun is it that you can pump up the flavor of your recipes and you're supporting your health as you go along. I love it. I love it. I'm so obsessed with this. Um, so if you have, uh, once, once again, I can't seem to see the comments right now on my screen, but if you have any recipes that you love to share, please go ahead uh, in the comments. Okay, so we're going to move on to... Um, surviving cookouts we're going to talk about main dishes so we've got some food in our bellies with some appies and some drinks let's talk about some main recipes we can fire up the grill and break out our oils of course we're going to whip up some burgers and fries um, we're going to make black pepper turkey burgers I'm not doing it right now don't worry you're not going to be here all night I'm not going to fire up the grill, but I will share the recipe with you in the comments. So for that recipe for the black pepper turkey burgers, you're going to use uh, ground turkey, Swiss cheese, barbecue sauce. I mean, all of this you can tweak if you want. Black pepper vitality, which I swear I put out, but oh well, it's not here right now. Oops. <laughs> um, I swear I got it. Oh well. Okay, so black pepper, vitality, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and sea salt. So you're going to mix all that together. You're going to grill up your burgers and you're going to have an amazing burger, right? So did you know that black pepper vitality stimulates the entire digestive system and way more? Google it. I dare you. You can look it up. So another thing that we're going to serve with our turkey burgers is rosemary oven baked fries. I cannot get enough of rosemary potatoes. It is one of my favorite things. Um, so you're gonna want five to six large potatoes, uh, all potatoes, potatoes, um, a, some olive oil, some garlic powder, some salt, and now you would normally have rosemary vitality, but I like the big bottle because I use it so much. So you're gonna get um, a drop or two, depends, it's do it to taste, but remember that these are super highly, highly concentrated and you are not going to need much. Um, I like to put the essential oil into the oil, like the olive oil that I'm going to drizzle over the potatoes because that way it, it spreads more easily. So yum, yum, yum. You can put those into the oven. Um, you're going to cut up the potatoes. You're going to toss everything in a bowl. You're going to throw them in the oven and you're going to bake for uh, about 20 minutes, maybe an additional 10. So it's going to take about a half an hour. So while you're um, work doing on, working on your burgers, you can throw the potatoes into the oven and boom, there you go. Yum. Dinner served. So did you know that rosemary vitality can be very supportive to the digestive, immune, and respiratory systems. So, well, this isn't the, the vitality, but let's pretend that it's a white bottle, okay? Um, all right, so surviving the cookouts, we are moving on to my favorite meal of the day. Anybody that knows me knows me. I'm all about desserts. Um, there is nothing like an ice cold bite of refreshing sorbet or a popsicle on a hot summer day, right? Um, you've infused them with the best essential oils on the planet and now you can even enjoy them guilt-free. So I'm going to share with you, which I'm not going to do now, uh, the lemon sorbet recipe in the comments, no, in the description uh, of the um, of this class. So the lemon, lemon sorbet calls for water, uh, organic evaporated cane, cane juice crystals, which you could probably swap out. Uh, if you don't have that, you could do two drops of lemon vitality or, well, lemon oil, uh, and a cup of fresh lemon juice. So you're going to make a syrup, blah, blah, blah. You'll see the recipe, but it's really, really easy to do that. Um, you churn it in an ice cream maker if you have one, uh, which I don't have, which is why I'm trying not doing it in front of you. Um, and Or you can cover, and then you're going to cover and freeze until it's ready to serve. Yum! 
So, did you know that Lemon Vitality provides great support to the circulatory system? Huh? Okay. So, now we're going to talk about some oil-infused popsicles. Super, super easy to make up. You can place the ingredients in a blender and mix well until combined, and then you're going to pour them into popsicle molds and freeze for 46 hours. Well, because I'm not going to make you sit here and wait for 46 hours, I'm going to talk about them um, and I'm going to share the recipes with you, uh, but I can guarantee you these are delish. So one recipe is for coconut lavender popsicles. It has coconut milk, frozen blueberries, uh, honey, and lavender vitality. Well, I don't have the lavender vitality, I just have the regular lavender, but once again, exactly the same oil. Um, okay, next recipe is strawberry mint popsicles. So you're gonna want three cups of strawberries, you could use frozen organic, you could use fresh, whatever. Um, you're gonna want a zested lemon, you're gonna want a quarter cup of uh, fresh lemon juice, a quarter cup of honey, and you can adjust the sweetness if you like, and one to two drops of peppermint would normally be Vitality, but once again, same oil. Okay, um, yum, 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 throw those into the, uh, your popsicle molds, freeze them up and enjoy. Another recipe is cherry lime popsicles. It's a half a cup of yogurt, it's pitted cherries, uh, water, honey, and lime Vitality. Once again, our famous lime. And the last recipe is lemon berry yogurt popsicles. So it's a cup of yogurt, uh, it's any kind of berries that you like, uh, it's a little bit of honey, and some lemon essential oil. Vitality or not, exactly the same oil. Okay, so did you know that lavender vitality supports the integumentary cardiovascular and nervous systems? Peppermint Vitality, or peppermint oil, supports the muscular and digestive systems. Lime supports the lymphatic system. And lemon supports digestive and lymphatic systems. So, do you know of any other popsicles that can do all that? Because I simply just do not. Okay. All of these popsicle recipes, of course, are delicious, but here's the fastest and easiest hack of all. So, you know the little ninja packets that came in your starter kit? Well, if you don't have a starter kit yet, you need to talk to me after the class as I hold up scissors. Um, so you take the little the packets, comes in the kit, or you can buy these individually. You throw them into the freezer. So if you don't even have time, they, you don't have popsicle molds, whatever, Take your ninja, throw it in the freezer. This has been frozen. Cut off the top, and now you've got like a ninja pop. Check this out. It literally doesn't get any better than that. It's pure amazing goodness. If you guys haven't tried this, you really need to. Ninja is absolutely incredible. I've done a few classes on it before. So delicious so good for you. It's literally the most perfect food on the planet and it's delicious. And you can make up these like popsicle or here in Mexico they'd be called bolis or I guess if they're like freezies in Canada. Anyway. Mmm. Okay. So moving on. Really, really quick. Uh, sorry you guys. There I got a call. <laughs> um, okay. So that was uh, quick ninja pops frozen pops. So, so, so delicious. Okay, um, moving on, we are going to talk about uh, a few different recipes and activities that you can do with your kids, okay? So, uh, before we say goodbye, I'm going to share a few more tricks for, sur for surviving summer. There's still a number of weeks left before school starts, potentially, depending on where you are. Um, and it's a lot of fun to do some activities with your kids, right? So even if you don't have kids of your own, you, it could still be fun to, you know, whip these up with neighbors or grandkids or nieces or nephews or their um, oily DIY hack uh, recipes. So kids love slime, right? I've never really gotten it, but hey, it's fun. So if you can make a super healthy slime, um, then I'm going to share that recipe with you for summer slime. It has uh, craft glue, hot water, bergamot, or citrus fresh oils. Um, you can put colored glitter in there if you want. And you're going to want uh, the natural borax. So 
Those of you that are slime experts, you're going to know. Uh, I will share that recipe with you in the description as well, okay? Um, and another really, really fun recipe that you can whip up with, some ki with your kids or just for yourself is DIY lip balms. So it's fun to make this any time of year, but um, it could be one of those things that you do with your kids to, you know, kick some summer, summer boredom. Uh, plus, it's a great opportunity to teach kids about the, te you know, caring for their bodies and healthy ingredients. Too many of the kid-friendly lip balms out there are still totally filled with synthetic uh, fragrance and colors, parabens, petroleum, and more. And those have been linked to hormone disruptions and much worse. So instead of risking it with iffy ingredients, just make some ourselves. It's super, super easy and fast. And the ingredients we absolutely know are good and safe for our bodies. So it's really simple. I will share the recipe with you um, in the description, but really easy. Oil infused lip balm. You're going to use three tablespoons of um, coconut oil, which I would say melted, but we're here in Cabo and it's melted in the summer anyway, right? Um, you're going to want to use organic when you can, of course. Five tablespoons of beeswax, yes, melted, and 12 drops of lavender or grapefruit. And then you're going to want to put them in little small tins so you can be putting on your lip balm. Um, you can switch up the oils however you like. Um, you're going to well, melt the coconut and beeswax together, stir that every 30 seconds, but I'll share all the details with you. But it's really a fun way <clears throat> to make up something really um really solidly healthy uh, and you can get creative. You can swap out the essential oils for different ones. You can use peppermint, cinnamon bark, orange, whatever you like um, and you can print off your own design for the labels. You can customize uh, to your liking and use them all year long. I love making up um, LLP or lemon lavender peppermint uh, lip balm uh, which I use all year long to support especially now when uh, well you know pollen is flying and uh, you definitely don't want to be caught sneezing these days so uh, I always try and have some uh, LLP lemon lavender peppermint which is super help helpful for supporting seasonal um, and I also made up some lip balm the other day that I put in thieves with uh, orange and uh, it's just delicious and you're helping to support your immunity as well so I mean how great is that so I've also got a recipe for some really fun bathtub crayons um, I'm not going to keep you too long for all the details on that but into those you could use stress away you could use lavender you could use sleepy eyes you could use um, something you know to really calm kids down during bath time and make it a lot of fun so I'll share that with you as well. And did you know that Stress Away promotes relaxation and helps calm the mind? I have it right here. It is literally one of my very favorite oils ever, ever, ever. It's the first one I opened in the kit um, and it still is one of my very favorites. So um, lavender has balancing properties that calm the mind and the body. And Sleepy Eyes promotes feelings of relaxation and tranquility. So help to, you know, make, calm your kids down. Last really fun thing that you can make with your kids. Um, if you've got little kids, uh, you every single day, needs, you know, summer days need to come to an end. And you can make up a really awesome, fun pillow spray um, that at the same time, is warding off monsters, right? You can call it monster spray for your kids. Um, you can help relax your sun-kissed kiddos and you can completely customize it to your liking and it let your kids help pick out the, the oils that they want. So um, just make sure you get ones that are relaxing and, and sleepy ones <laughs> so that it calms them down, right? So for the monster spray, you're gonna need three ounces of water, one ounce of witch hazel, and then essential oils of your choice. So maybe stress away, lavender, sleepy eyes once again. Um, and you're gonna put it in a four ounce bottle, like one of these that I made up earlier. And then you're gonna shake it before each use. So you can make a cute label. Um, kids can add their own decorations to the bottle. Keep in mind, it's not just for kids. Um, sometimes adults uh, need a little help unwinding as well, so. 
You can call it pillow spray for adults and monster spray for kids. I don't know. Be creative. So let's talk about how to get the best price on your Young Living oils and products. So now that you've seen how easy it is to use your Young Living oils and products to survive the summer, you are ready to tackle the outdoors, the cookouts, and the kids. Well, you're not tackling your kids, but you know what I mean. So um, if you're totally new to this whole oil thing and you don't know where to start, let me show you the way or whoever invited you to this class. You'll need to grab uh, a starter kit first. I have a, a special referral link that I will share in the comments and I would love to help you get started. The starter kit comes with a free membership to Young Living, which is how you gain access to the wholesale pricing. So that's saving 24% off retail, like forever. Okay, um, there are several ready-made starter kits uh, that you can choose from, but if you're wanting to grab all or uh, some of the items that I've mentioned today, you're going to want to snag the, the basic starter kit and add on to it, or uh, the premium starter kit and then jump on to um, say yes to essential rewards, jump on and add an extra 100 PV to uh, your kit, and you will automatically get extra freebies and earn 10% back on the whole thing within points that you can redeem later on. It's awesome. So um, even if you're already an oily pro and you have had your account for years, you need to make sure that you're part of Essential Rewards so that you're getting the most out of your Young Living membership. So Essential Rewards uh, is a monthly uh, ordering program. Uh, it's like getting Christmas every single month delivered to my door. And it has the following perks. So they have loyalty gifts. They have discounted shipping. They, you can earn points on future orders. Uh, freebies starting from about 100 or 125 PV and access to exclusive um, discounted bundles and it qualifies you to receive referral bonuses as well. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's an entire amazing community, amazing community of people that are super, super ready to come alongside you on your journey. Starting with me, I would be super honored uh, to be able to help you get started and any questions that you have, I'm here to help. So sharing with others is something that's really, really easy. When you get your starter kit and become um, a Young Living member, you are given the option to keep all of this oily goodness to yourself or and never tell a soul or um, I would recommend this option you could tell the world like I've said in many of my classes I wish I could get up on the roof and shout it from the rooftops but this is the, my, my rooftop I'm shouting to you here um, you can tell the world so if you use lavender essential oil on your lavender essential oil on your sunburn and it helps to make your skin feel better by morning wouldn't you want friends to know about that um, so if you grab some peppermint and you press it to the roof of your mouth um, to soothe some pressure, you know, building in your head, wouldn't you want your friends to know about that? Um, if you found a safer sunscreen or a better insect repellent, wouldn't you want to share that with your friends? So if you're, you're going to find that the products... Um, you love them, it's impossible not to, and that they do change your life. And I know that's a big statement, but it's true. Your friends deserve to know about this as well. So while you're enjoying your cookouts and serving food with essential, you know, infused with essential oils, you can, your friends can experience them too. And while you're out and about and you're sharing your sunscreen and your repellent, um, you can share your roller recipes. Um, your friends need to know all about this oily goodness. So guess what? When you enroll somebody with a premium starter, premium starter kit, you get at least a $50 referral bonus. Um, and that would increase if they add uh, other products onto their kit purchase. So you'll receive an additional $15 if they purchase the premium starter kit and join Essential Rewards at um, any time with a successfully processed 100 PV order. That's a total of $65 that you're getting into your pocket just for helping your friends get started with this amazing goodness. So you get to make sure, uh, you have to make sure you've spent 
um, 50 PV in the same month your friend enrolls to get that moolah, but uh, really, it de well, it depends on your country. It's uh, between 50 and 100 PV, but that's really easy to do. If you're on essential rewards, you're already getting stuff for your family, and that's your only requirement for, for income. It's amazing. So um, it's a total win-win. The monetary uh, blessing is... I mean, it's life-changing oils. It's an incredible community. It's an absolute blessing. For me right now, I, I could not be more grateful. And you get to connect um, and support your friends. So it's a total win-win, right? So because I've talked about income, I will talk, refer you to uh, youngliving.com slash IDS for more info. And who can't use oily goodness in their life, right? Okay, so that brings us to the end of this class. I thank you so incredibly much for jumping on here and joining me and taking a look at what Young Living has to offer. I believe these oils and products need to be in every single home, starting with yours and mine. And this uh, wellness lifestyle has been such a blessing, and I know that it will be for you too. So. Thank you very much for being here tonight. This was Surviving Summer, and you have survived Surviving Summer. So have a very great evening. Um, feel free to send me any questions at any time. Um, and following the class, I will be sharing all those recipes I talked about and a bunch of other uh, links and information in the comments. So thank you very much for being here. Good night.